Tonight we have some new information about the COVID-19 surveillance testing that's set to begin in schools statewide next week. So our districts had a choice of whether to participate and whether to test students and staff just once or on an ongoing basis. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado reports so far all but two school districts have signed up. The in-school COVID testing was piloted in Providence, Central Falls and Lincoln. Lincoln now one of two school districts opting not to continue with the testing moving forward. The second semester of K-12 school in Rhode Island will feature COVID testing in schools for students with parents permission and staff. The program utilizing the rapid Binax now tests Rhode Island uses at some of its testing sites like the dunk. Almost every district is signed up. According to the Rhode Island Department of Education, 36 school districts and public charters opted to have the state come in for a one time testing event as students come back to school in person following the holiday break. 30 districts and charters signed up to do ongoing surveillance testing themselves. The schools will get an allotment of the Binax tests, which use a small card to get results as soon as 15 minutes. And 16 signed up for both options. Every district is going to do it differently because it, it takes manpower, right? They might be doing one grade at a time, two or three grades, the whole school. It'll all depend on the districts. Providence, the largest school district, is opting to do ongoing testing themselves twice a month for all students and staff who want it, including on the first day back next week. Just two school districts, Lincoln and Situate, opted out of the in-school testing altogether for now. Lincoln Superintendent Lawrence Filippelli tells me while the pilot program went well with the full resources of the state, doing COVID testing moving forward would tax the school nurses and administrators and interrupt student learning by taking them out of class. Rhode Island public schools stayed remote after the holiday break. Some districts going back to school today. The majority are heading back to the classroom in person next week. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News. And right now on WPRI.com, you can find a full list of school districts and public charter schools and what their plans are for the COVID-19 testing.